Good morning, How baby. How you feeling? I am feeling great. You know, yeah. this is my favorite time of the year. I know. But I just wish Harmony was able to come home. Yeah, me too. But you know what? What? I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Our firstborn, mm -hmm. she's a big time attorney in California. Mm -hmm. That just goes to show you with God, hard work, and a little dedication, anything's possible. You know what? It sure is. Because you know, faith makes everything possible. Amen. I know. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> Boy, why are you running through my house? Now, you know you ain't too old to get a look at. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just running late for it. Oh, okay. Baby. Okay. See you okay. Oh, baby. Because I'm gonna need your help around this house. I know, I know. Be on time, Derek. What do with these kids? I don't know. What? But I do know. What? I don't want you stressing yourself out this Christmas. Okay. Right. Get I these won't. kids to help you. Yeah, but baby, I just want everything to be special for them, you know? I know, and it will be. <clears throat> Helen, these kids are grown. But you do know, I still have my baby girl. Mom, this mm -hmm. morning I have bacon, eggs, hash browns, and pancakes. I wouldn't make it myself. I'm too tired. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what, baby? You talking about little Miss 13 going on 30 baby, over here? Stop it. I just want everything to be special for them for our first Christmas at our new house. And it will be. All right? All right. I gotta get to work, but Helen. What? Put these kids to work, all right? I hear you. I hear you, okay? All right. Shelly, mm. help your mom for me today, all right? <laughs> love you, baby. All right. Love you. See love you, you too. <laughs> the Bell family is a family that prays. Oh, yes. This family trusts and believes in God always. What a good or bad. Happy, sad. God. Okay, you know, just taking it day by day. Well, you know, that's all you can do is trust God and know that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah, I know. It's just hard taking care of three kids alone. And you know, with Christmas coming up, I'm just stressed. Mm, no, baby, I get it. I get it. But remember what it says in Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You're right. You're right. Thank you, Miss Bell, for always having a word of encouragement. No, oh, no problem, sweetie. Everybody needs a little encouragement. But what are you and the kids doing for the holidays? Well, I don't have family here, and I don't have enough money to go back home. So I was just thinking about taking the kids to their favorite restaurant and just maybe getting them a few gifts. I will not have you take them boys to no restaurant for Christmas dinner. You bring them kids over here to my house, okay? Thank you for the invite, but I don't want to impose. You're not imposing. <laughs> Everybody comes to Mama Bell's for dinner. So I'll see you and the kids then? Yes, ma'am. Well, let me get these babies up. Okay, baby. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye, dear. <sighs> <sighs> let me get this house clean. <laughs> Are you sure mama doesn't know anything? Yeah, it's about to be a big surprise. Nobody suspects anything. Okay, great. I can't wait to see what's on mama's face. Yeah, me either. I'm actually on the way to the airport right now. Oh, no, nah, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just telling you a rental. What? Nah. So you need to tell me, after all this time, I ain't seen anything about to let you get a rental? Hey, okay, who's the oldest? <laughs> so? But not for real though, like I'm like really on the way to the airport. All right. Well, I'll see you when you get here. I can feel your presence. All right. Bye. Right. Right here, right here by my side. Stay here for a lifetime. Blessings from my God, I know you're right here. Right here by my side. Stay here for a lifetime. Blessings from my God, I know. Well, 
Look at you, still got that big head of yours. But I know you ain't talking <laughs> jokes. Uh, watch your mouth. You ain't too big for this beat dad. I ain't. Uh, come on, let's go. Um, excuse me? Oh, no, you ain't lose your manners in that big head of yours. Nah, but you the big sister, remember? Carry your own bags. But you grow that. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh huh. That's what I thought. You don't want me telling mama. Uh, so you gonna tell on me? Just like old times. And if you're not ready when it gets here, you're going to have to find your own ride. I'll be ready here. What's up, bro? What you doing? Uh, you know, just out here hustling without hustling since my PO all over my case. Man, I be trying, but these jobs be out here be on one, dog. Hey, man, just keep trying. Something will turn up. Yeah. But what you up to, dog? Nothing. Just picked up Harmony. I'm about to go back to the house and surprise mama. Hey, you, you still coming over later, right? Yeah, I'll be around that later, man. I gotta go pick up some white old lady. What you Ubering now, nigga? And, and like, how you know she old? And how you know she white? First of all, I call her the real. Second, you can look at her profile and tell she old and white. And get this, she live in White Town. White Town, nigga? Imagine that. See, that's what's wrong with you. But all right, man, I'm gonna see you later, though. All right, babe. I'll be around there. Dress. I ordered a luxury sedan. Oh, no, 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 no. See, look, check this out. This top of the line right here. It got a V16 engine, rims, and I just put in the speakers. Uh, Dave? Dave? Yes, honey, I heard you. Not the first few million times. Dave, hmm? this isn't the car that was on the app. Oh. Well, it's, it's not the ride I ordered. Yeah. But come on, dear. Well, there's no time to be picky. Fine, but this is going on your bill, not mine. Yes, dear. Now see, a life stay. No time to be picky, honey. I got you. Straight to the airport? Straight there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get to the airport. Hope y'all don't mind me bumping a little music. All right. It's my money, my money, and I want it now. I want my money now in my hand. I'm gonna tell you like this. Come on in this house, take a seat with the sun. Let's just praise the Lord. Got to clean this house of mine. you back later because I got to finish cleaning this filthy house of mine before Christmas and these kids are not making it any easier. Now, I've never known your house to be <laughs> Sometimes it's what you don't or can't see. <laughs> Girl, let me call you back later. Girl, if you don't quit running through my house, you're not going to see Christmas laughing. <laughs> I tell you, these kids are mine. Shelly, what are you doing? 
do with your brother's controller? Mm-hmm. You know you should not be in Cedric room when he's not here. Now go put it back. Oh, I never get to have any fun. It's not gonna be fun when you're grounded either. Hey, baby. How was your day? Oh, it was a day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice in it. I know that's right. So why don't you just take a seat, relax, and dinner will be ready soon, okay? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Come on in this house, take a seat with us, and let's just praise the Lord. He's been good, oh so good. My God is worthy to, worthy to be, worthy to, worthy to be, worthy to, worthy to be praised. Let me put this room down and get dinner started. Wait, this is where y'all live now? Yeah, we just moved in a couple months ago. Proves how much you don't keep in touch. Yeah, I know I be slacking, but you'll understand. I be busy. <laughs> I bet you do. You a lawyer. Get into the bag. I'm trying to be like you. Hey, let me hold a dollar. <laughs> yeah, about that. Before we go inside, there's something I need to tell you. What's up? You better not be pregnant. Pregnant? Boy, are you crazy? Well, what is it then? You gotta promise not to judge me. It's part of the reason I haven't kept in contact anymore. I ain't gonna judge you. You know this. Okay. So, this money doesn't come from me being in the courtroom. I'm not at the law firm anymore. What? Did you get fired? Like, how can you afford to live in LA, in LA without a job? I don't even know how to warm you up to this, so I'ma just say it. It comes from... I'm a... You're a... How do I put this? Just say it. I'm a... Stripper. I'm waiting on you to tell me you're this point. Well, you're going to be waiting for a long time. What happens to you not judging me? I ain't judging you. I mean, you shaking your ass ain't got nothing to do with me. But you know what's going to happen when mom and dad find out. And that's why they're not going to find out, are they? Look, I ain't going to tell them. It's Shelly you got to worry about. She's mama's little messenger. And she's sneaky. Yeah. I miss my little Shelly so much. I hope she'll be happy to see me. Nah, she changed. She been spoiled to death ever since you left because she's the only girl left in the house. But I mean, it's only one way to find out. Yeah. Come on, let's go inside. Wait, what's going on with you? How's school? Harvard boy. I mean, it's school, I guess. But come on, let's go inside. Uh-uh. What's going on with you? What you mean? You only try to change the subject when something is wrong. So you think you know me, huh? I mean, I practically raised you. Harmony, you only... a couple years older than me. You can barely even put a sense together. Like, what's up? See? There you go again, trying to change the subject. All right. Okay. Let me tell you. I'm waiting. Okay, so I don't, I don't think I'm going back to college. What? After all you went through to try to get in and now you're not going? Damn. Now you're starting to sound like mama. I'm sorry. I just don't understand. I mean, it's just like you said. I thought I wanted to be a doctor, but now I don't know. I mean, I know I still want to help people. I just don't know how. Well, you know I support you either way. So what are you going to do? That's my only problem. I ain't really figured that out yet. I just know I got to make some type of change. I understand. 
I support you. All I can say is, find something you're passionate about and follow that. Yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. But hey, before we go inside, there's so much I got to tell you. But don't nobody else know that. What? So, my girlfriend's coming over, right? Hey. Wait, yo, what? What you mean? I told you that I had- I, Nope, you didn't tell me diddly squat. Now I need all the tea. Anyway, so, yeah, she, uh, she's a little different from us. What you mean, different? I mean, you know, she just is. What? She has kids, missing a leg, been to prison? Nah, like... So is she white? I wouldn't say that. Then what? She ain't white. She just lacks melanin. <laughs> See, you so goofy. I can't stand you. Yeah, whatever. But for real, that shouldn't matter. I mean, you like who you like. But wait, is she like Betty White white or Ariana Grande white? Wait, so Ariana Grande's white? This whole time I thought she was mixed. Oh my God. <laughs> but anyway, she's coming over for Christmas and you know how our family is. These jokes are about to be nonstop. Yeah, you right about that. And let's just hope she got thick skin. I mean, yeah, you right. It should, should be okay though. But you ready to go inside? I know everybody gonna be happy to see you. Well, probably sure for sure. Now you low-key got me nervous. Yeah. Let's go inside. Is that what I think it is? Is that my baby crying? Oh, oh, it's so good to see you, baby. Yes, let me take a look at you. Derek and I wanted to surprise you. Well, baby, you sure did that. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome home, baby girl. Good. What a surprise. Hey, Shelly, come out here. Oh, yeah. Girl, if you don't get your butt out here right now. Hey, little sis. Oh, she's here. Oh, let me go talk to this child. See, I told you she thought she was the favorite. Stop. Wait, where's Cedric? Shanae. Shanae who? That's his new girlfriend. But don't even trip. You know he'll be back later because you know he came with this moment, some of the fried pork chops. Oh, so everybody got a new boo this holiday season, huh? No, not everybody. Derek don't have nobody new. I don't know how Cedric managed to get a woman and Derek don't have one. Stop it. Come on, show me the rest of the house. Uh, show your sister the house. Now, what was that all about, young lady? Aren't you glad to see your big sister? No. No? Why is that? Because every time she comes here, everybody forgets about me. Oh, baby. <laughs> I am sorry that you feel like you're overlooked, but Holly only comes home every so often. And when she does come, we try to spend as much time with her as we can. Now, you do know that your daddy and I love each of you the same. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you're mama's baby girl. And don't you ever forget it. Okay? Now go and apologize. Do I have to? Yes. Now go. I'm sorry for treating you like that. It's okay, little sis. Don't you know you're my favorite little sister? Wait, but I'm your only little sister. <laughs> now that's mm -hmm. what I like to see. Come on, get in here, Mama. And my baby girls. Oh, I love you. We love you too, Mama. <laughs> mama, can we bake cookies? That sounds like a great idea. Hey.
Harmony, you get the flour and the sugar, and Shelly, you get the eggs and the butter. And we will probably get She told me she invited you before I even had a chance. Yeah. And she treated you like your last name Bill or something. She's trying to say. Am I not wanted? Dang, man, I'm just playing with you. Don't get all sensitive on me. Nobody's sensitive, fool. Just saying. I mean. Derek, mama looking for you. All right, here I go. Is that Harmony? Oh, she bad in the mug. I ain't seen her in a long hey. time. Don't even think about it. What? Yes, this is her. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be able to do it next weekend. Okay, thank you. Have a great holiday. Bye. You're not going to be the case. shows up with some food, I'm oh. allergic to whatever she brings. So don't expect me to eat nothing. Uh, all right. Boy, you can't talk. Remember that time when you was little and you tried to make me some pancakes for breakfast and I'm going to the kitchen now? Now, see, why you got to bring up old stuff? I was just trying to do something nice for you and make you breakfast on your birthday. <laughs> well, ain't nobody no worse than Cedric trying to cook some mashed potatoes and they turned out black. Black. You hear me? Black. And then it looked like he was eating chunk of coal. <laughs> <laughs> And wake up all the neighbors? You're brilliant. Then tell me what your brilliant plan is, smart guy. First of all, stop talking so loud, and we can use the back door. She never locks it because everyone goes through the front. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Why is that? Shut your black mouth and let's go. Put your mask on, dude. Put your mask on. You gotta have the mask on going through the door. Wait, 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 wait. How do we know the 
there's not an alarm system to this door. And I know her. There's no alarm. Watch me. Who else, Pops? I'm talking about your wife. Wait a minute! Now I know 
He just didn't say, get me started. Yes, Boy, don't you get here upside your head on this beautiful holiday? I'm oh, sorry. Can we just skip breakfast and just go over my presents? Yeah, please, Mama. Of course. Why not? Uh, where's Harmony at? Oh, uh, she's still upstairs asleep. You know she's still in California, huh? Oh, right. She got jet lag. You mean jet lag, Mama? That's what I said, baby. I said jet lag. Jet lag? Who's Jack? Yeah, that's what I said. Jet lag. Now, go get shit your family and wake her up. What? <laughs> jet lag. That's what I said. It's a jet, not a jack. Oh, who could that be this early in the morning? I'll get him on. Okay, thank you, baby. As you can see, being the brightest bell in this household, it's <laughs> kind of hard carrying all this weight. I do what I can. Well, that's great to hear. Speaking of great, I brought my famous mac and cheese. I know you guys love it. <laughs> More like that. Derek, what you say, baby? Oh, I said I love your mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna try to save some for everybody else. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. Let me help, help you take this into the kitchen. Okay. What's wrong? Well, I just want to make sure that you're going to be on your best behavior. What? Best behavior? Jackie, what are you talking about? You know how you get when you get a little <laughs> too comfortable. Don't start no mess. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about it. I'm going to be the perfect little angel. Mm-hmm. Auntie Evelyn! Hey, hey, sweetie! Oh, you are looking mighty handsome. Oh, my God, stay looking fresh. <laughs> okay, Fresh Prince. Why don't you help Auntie and get the rest of the food out of the car? I got you. Hey, Cedric, come help me real quick. Oh my goodness, look at y'all. Oh, you're getting so big. Oh, hey, baby. Uh, oh, look at you. Emily, come on in. Oh, sis, this house is absolutely clean. Oh, I'm so happy for you and Anthony. Thank you. And you got it for a steal. I'm so damn proud of this new Excuse me, Jackie? What did you say? Beautiful house. <laughs> Just oh. gorgeous. Well, I'm gonna have to give y'all a tour later. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. And where is my oldest niece? How did you even know she was here? She just got in yesterday. It is all over Facebook. Look, Derek posted pictures of them yesterday. Wait a minute, Emily, you got a Facebook page? Uh, yes, I do. And Derek's one of your Facebook friends? Well, no. But oh. Oh, Myra's the one that actually showed it to me. Oh my God, girl, I was getting ready to say, I can't even get on Derek's Facebook page. <laughs> Don't be my baby. Look at him. But you know, she just stepped up for a minute. She'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is smelling good up in here. Mm -hmm. uh, I need you to go sit over there. All right. But no, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Been waiting all day to eat. Hey, Evan. Hey. Jackie, how you doing? Oh, welcome. Anthony, I'm doing well. What do you think of that new car you're supposed to be getting me into? Well, if you come over to the car <laughs> lot, <laughs> uh, one of my sales reps will be happy to assist you. Mmm, that was lovely. Oh, <laughs> what y'all talking about? 
fix your shoes. Started to hang out with Cedric and Shelly. Well, I think that that would be good for you. I mean, it'll get you out of the house. Yeah. And it would take my mind off of things. Like what? what? What's wrong? Do you really have to ask? <sighs> I know that this is hard for you. Just don't. Uh, you don't understand what it's like for uh, me. I just want to enjoy Christmas. Do you think that this is what I wanted? I didn't want any of this, son. Why is that moving? Brandon, now listen. There are some things that you are just not gonna understand. Never mind, Mom. I just want to enjoy the last of this Christmas. <sighs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Robert. <laughs> Brandon? 
absurd. I'm just gonna go see what Cedric is doing. Hey. I just wanna talk to my son. Brandon Christopher Bell! Get back over here! Yes, Mom? Talk to your father. Hey, it's Christmas, right? I don't really want to... Hey, so look, listen. Five minutes. Don't ask for it. We talk to you. Five minutes. Okay. Thank five you. Five minutes. Look. Let's step outside. All right? So that's what I want you to think about. You know, as we talk about this thing. Yeah. And everything that's going on. Now, look, son. I know you're upset and confused about everything. But no matter what is going on between us, me and your mom, we still love you. It's just that over the years, me and your mom, we outgrew each other. We grew apart. So it's best right now that we just go our separate ways. But why? Why are you guys getting divorced? And it's not like you guys just grew apart. You were always together, like best friends. It just doesn't make sense. I know it don't make sense. And there's gonna be a lot of things that you just don't understand right now. Then help me. Help me understand. I'm not a little kid anymore. I can't handle the truth. Look. We're not going to talk about this right now. So, <laughs> you bring me all the way out here just to say we're not going to talk about it. So we're not going to talk about this at all. You know what? No, no. I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my day. Let me tell you something. I'm still your father. Brandon! Yo, you got some smoke? Psst. Nah, fool. This is the bell house. They don't allow that type of smoke around here unless it's the 4th of July or a barbecue. Plus, I don't need spark no more. Nigga, what you mean you don't spark no more? Nigga, I changed up my game. Don't you see the Uber tags in front of the window? Okay, but you telling me they don't spark? Hell no. Nah. Can I spark up? No, nigga. Can I at least roll up? Yeah. Roll your ass about the car. Let's go, man. <laughs> Miss Bell, this is a nice house. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this kitchen is kind of nice. I guess. I still prefer mine, though. <laughs> and everybody else prefers my cooking over us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have had this food done by now. You're out here talking and holding everybody up. Y'all need help? Nope. We got it. You know, no matter what you do, you ain't gonna be able to outdo my mac and cheese. <laughs> Speaking of your macaroni and cheese, your macaroni and cheese is really uh something else. And what does that mean? <laughs> you can tell you guys the sisters. <laughs> always going back and forth. Thank you for what it's worth. Sisters, man, whatever, ain't nobody thinking about her. You know. I think we should just end this sibling rivalry and set the table. Rivalry? <laughs> Where's the competition? Yeah. Where is the competition? Yeah, you right. You know I love y'all, though. Man, can we get this table set? We can be in here. That doesn't mean you can play my Xbox. You smashing buttons. Man, watch out. From way downtown. Bang! No. Do you know how long I've had that jersey? No, no.
you want this? You want this? He's on a roll. All right, y'all know go ahead. It's done. Give up the controls. I said no. We're playing right now. Amazing. Oh, you playing? Man, what you do that for? Yeah. Who's playing now? I gotta go pee pee. Here, here. Come on. He shoots, he scores! Mm, shit got no hug. Hey, what you say? Ah, uh, man. Man. Hey, what do you really say? Uh, something about some candy. <laughs> I got my eyes on both of y'all. Keep looking in. Uh -uh. <laughs> what y'all laughing about? Nothing. Mm. Y'all sure are some good looking young men. You got a woman? Nope. They single. Are you my new dad? What? Yeah, that's Papa Marcus. Ah, oh, ain't your dad. You could be. Jennifer, can I see you for a second? You hear that? Mama Belle wants you. She, she, she wants you in the kitchen. I'll be right there. But I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say that for? That's <laughs> what you get. Both of us sitting here, she gonna ask him out of daddy. I mean, you do look like father material to me. Man, shut up. So you really just gonna walk around with your chest all up? <laughs> and who are you? My daddy? <laughs> if I need to be. Uh, boy, go somewhere. Hey, bro, but for real, so I know her from somewhere. Who, huh? Yeah. Nah. You ain't never seen me in that, bro. She been in California uh, for the last few years. <laughs> Bro, look, look. Yeah, oh, damn! I told you I knew her from somewhere. Hey, what y'all looking at? Come on. Yo. Why y'all acting weird? Let, let me see. Let me see. What's up with y'all? No. Dog, no. Man, look. Y'all can't say nothing. Oh, yeah? How much you want the pass to keep my mouth shut? All right, dog. Don't worry about it. He got a mouth shut. Nah, for real. Like, y'all can't say nothing. We got you, bro. Hey, we good? Okay. We good. I'm, I'm for real. Don't All say right. nothing. All right. Live sealed, though. Take this off your phone. Step outside me for a minute. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I don't see nobody. I'm going over here and try out this here mac and cheese. Everybody raving about it. You know it ain't better than mine. You know what I'm saying? They ain't getting no better than that. Mama, what you doing? Nothing. Can of whoop ass on your mom. Me! Yo, chill, yo, chill. Look, look. 
Why don't you come over here with me so I can show you some pictures from school? Okay, now you better not have no little chicky bees in there. Who the fuck is You are a mess. Who are you, baby? I don't even know what a chicky bee is. Let's get over here. I'm going to tell you about a chicky bee. Your bum. Shit. Hey, Bach, move, 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 move. Hey, what you do that for? Man, I told you they don't like that shit around here, bro. Man, that was for my glaucoma. Man, glaucoma my ass. Hey, what's up, Mr. B? <coughs> Marcus, how you doing? I'm good. Marcus, what's that smell? Oh, that's, uh, that's my new cologne. It's, uh, called Blue Water. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Blue smells water. like something else. Uh-uh. Anyway, hey, I'm looking for Derek. His mother needs him to run to the store real quick. Oh, Mr. B, won't you let me take care of that? I think he uh, left about a minute ago or somewhere. I got you. Okay. We just need a gallon of milk. I'm on. I got you. All right. Whoa. Here, let me, let me, let me give you a few dollars for that. Nah, 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 Mr. B. It's cool. I got you. Because, you know, you let me crash at your past, at least I could do. You sure, Marcus? Yeah, most definitely. Hey, you know you're welcome here anytime, right? No question. All right. Be cool, Mr. B. All right. on CPT time. <laughs> sure is. Go see who that is. Right. I got it. Hey, hey, did you find it okay? Yeah, I found it okay, but you didn't tell me it's such a big house. Oh, it is? Oh, it's just four bedrooms. <laughs> well, come on, let me introduce you to my friend. Mom, Dad, this is Gabby. Mrs. Bell, Mrs. Bell, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Gabby. Welcome to our home. So, is this the young lady I've been hearing so much about? Oh, oh baby, we give hugs around here. It's nice to meet you, sweetie. You have such a beautiful home. Oh, you. And I got you these flowers. Derek told me they're your favorite. Very nice. Oh, Jimmy, now. You trying to butter me up, son? You know. Ooh, they're beautiful. Thank you. Here, take these and put them over here on that table for me. Okay, so, and then y'all come on in here so we can eat. Go right this way, yeah. Well, come on, Derek, y'all put you to the table, baby. believe your father left today and this is the exact reason why you are staying with me but sherry he needs his father then he shouldn't have left us so we just letting anybody come to the family oh, dinner now jackie be quiet Ooh, look at my nephew being such a gentleman uh, you know i, mean, yeah, I do what i do 
And you see where he gets it from. Mm. Where is Myra? Oh, she's in the back with the kids. Hold on, you want to introduce your guests? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Gabby, this is everybody. Everybody, this is my girlfriend, Gabby. Mm. Hi, Gabby. Since when did you have a girlfriend? Oh, hi, Gabby. Don't mind him. I'm Harmony, Derek's big sister. Yeah, she never left me for you. What was that? Huh? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Hi, everybody. It's nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you, too, sweetie. Girl, stop. She seems nice. <laughs> Baby, why don't you say grace? Sure. Everyone, bow your head to close your eyes. Okay. Dear Lord, we thank you for letting us gather today as a family. Lord, we know that you are the reason for the season. Lord, we ask that you bless this food and the hands that prepared it. Lord, we ask that you bless those that go without. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's eat. Let's eat. Right. Right. And God tell me twice. Right. 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 Yeah. Then I'll show. Her body is used to internet me. Which one is your favorite? Oh, right. She does have multiple personalities. <laughs> so, Harmony, how's it going out there in L.A. at that law firm? I know you are excited about winning your first big case. Um, yes. Mm. Mm, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, slow down, son. Mm. Mm. I'm loving it. I'm like, it's just so good. Mm. Mm. You put it for me? Mm. I can taste it. Thank you. <laughs> At least somebody here appreciates me, nephew. Actually, son, that's your... Let her have so, Cedric, I heard you're quite the ladies' man these days. Mm -hmm. well, I, I do like him. Mm -hmm. So, how many girlfriends do you have? None at the moment. <laughs> I don't like to keep my options open. Oh, I see. Well, when you get one, make sure you treat them right. Like your brother down here, okay? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. When's the season? Well, yeah, good, good. Mm -hmm. So... Gabby, it is, right? Curious, what do you think about the food? <laughs> Assuming that you never had real soul food before. Oh, <laughs> Yo, you know, <laughs> Yes, actually I have. And in fact, Derek and I met at the Soul Kitchen Cafe on campus. Yeah. <laughs> and Mrs. Bell, the food is so good. Thank you again for having me. Oh, no problem, sweetie. I'm glad you're enjoying it. But should you be with your parents for the holidays? But, I mean... I'm sure they wouldn't mind seeing her for Christmas. But it's okay. No, Mrs. Bell, my mom passed away a couple years ago, and my dad decided to go out of town, but I'll get to see him before we go back to school. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, you're always welcome here. Thank you, Mrs. Bell. You're welcome. Hey, bro, can you pass me the cinnamon? Oh, hey. Yeah. This cinnamon? Yeah, that cinnamon. Hey. Hey, right. you sure that's enough cinnamon? I can never get enough cinnamon. Mmm. <laughs> cinnamon. Now that's a nice stripper name. Stripper? Don't you think so, Cinnamon? I mean, Harmony? Um, I guess. Jackie, didn't I tell you not to start no trouble today? Mm. How you gonna sit over there and call Harmony a stripper when you know she's a lawyer? Mm. Well, she is what? one. What? So, so I think she would do. Okay. Mm. You know what? You know what? You drink too much mm -hmm. and you always start trouble and you always start trouble. Oh, you don't know what? You don't know I may be tipsy, but I'm telling the truth. Shut up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jackie. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you need to leave our house now. You don't never have my back. So y'all don't believe me? No. 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 All right, then I'll show you. you show me. <gasps> oh, not my baby. Harmony. Oh. Mm. That's my sister. Well, 
I guess dinner's over now. Mm. Mm. I guess I'll be the first to leave. Jackie, mm. sit your ass down. Mm. Now, what you did to that girl was wrong. Mm -hmm. You had no right to tell her parents anything. Mm -mm. But, Mom, hush! I don't want to hear it. Mm. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. You talk too damn much. Mm. And not to mention how you've hurt her parents mm -hmm. and your sister. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all been arguing all day. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, cat got your tongue? You ain't got nothing to say? You don't want to tell me? Well, I have something to tell you. A house divided will not stand. Look at this young man right here. Everything you do affects him. He's looking up to y'all. Y'all need to get your house in order. Harmony. Look at me. And I'm not going to stand here and lecture you on what you should or shouldn't do because you're grown. But what I will tell you is that you are wonderfully and fearfully made a precious jewel from God. And he has called you for a greater purpose. And your G-Ma loves you. Love you too, g -ma. Hey. Hey. I know you're disappointed. Mm -hmm. But don't let your sister go on the holiday. I ain't done what Jackie's thinking. I've been putting up with her crap ever since we were kids. But what would make Harmony start dancing for money? It's got to be something she's just been telling us. Honey, I don't know. But the Bible tells us to train up a child in the way they should go. And when they get old, they shall not depart from it. That's right. And I definitely know we raised Harmony right. That's true. Whatever's going on with her, give it to God. You're right. Again. <laughs> now, let's see if we can go salvage what's left of this day. Oh, no. I just think I'm gonna lay here in bed. Hmm. But that will be given into directly what the enemy wants. <laughs> to come in and cause division. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Miss Bell. <laughs> you can only come break the spirit. That's right, baby. I'm not. <laughs> they still like kids, I know that. <laughs> All right. I always love our kids and even oh. our family that we don't want to love. Oh. We still love them too. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. Hey, dog. It's getting too loud up in here, man. We just gonna roll out. And just where do you think you're going? Well, I see y'all got a family thing going on, so me and he was just about to get up out of here. Boy, sit down. That Kush can wait. And you know you are just as much a part of this family as anybody. I don't spark no more, though. Hmm. I wasn't talking to you, son. <laughs> but I heard you recently got saved. Yeah, facts. I did. Now, these roads out here ain't easy. You can't keep doing the same thing, hanging with the same people, expecting different results. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Great. You're right on time. Now, I want to see every last one of you in this house in church tomorrow. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. No excuses. Don't make me come after you. Now, I got to go find Myra to take me home because my sciatic nerve is starting to mess up. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. Mm -hmm. Bye, fellas. Mm -hmm. Bye, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Get your love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. baby. I'll see you later.
looking at me weird and the jokes I mean they were fine at first but then it just kind of made me feel uncomfortable I'm sorry that made you feel like that but you don't have anything to worry about are you sure I just really want them to like me yeah it may be too much for me sometimes so I can only imagine how you feel but I'll talk to them though trust me so you think they like me if they didn't you would know you're probably just thinking too hard about it yeah, you're probably right. I mean, as long as you just keep me yourself, that's really all that matters. And don't walk around calling people niggas. I think you'll be okay. Stop! <laughs> you know I would never do that! <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better. That's what I'm here for. I'm walking Gabby out, and then I'll be right there. <laughs> Jennifer, I am so sorry that you had to hear all of my family's drama. That's not how I planned the day to go. No, oh, no. Don't worry about it. My family is the worst. <sighs> it was just good getting out the house. Well, with that being said, I want you to take these. These are for you and the kids. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just too much. Oh, no. Take these. We don't need all this food just hanging around here. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you brothers. Mm. <laughs> well, let me get the boys and head home before it starts to snow. Okay, now. I have to go see you tomorrow at church, right? Yes, ma'am. According to your mother, I better have my butt there. <laughs> you right about that, because you do not want to get on her bad side. I know, right? <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, sweetie. <laughs> Mama, can we talk for a minute? Harmony, I have got to get these to-go boxes together, and I can't even look at you right now. What's going on with you to do that? If you needed money, we would have helped. No, Mama. No. <laughs> I was standing in the courtroom after I won my first big case. And it didn't feel like how I thought it would. It didn't feel like me, Mama. Helping dirt packs get away with crimes I know they committed. I just couldn't see myself doing that for the rest of my life. <clears throat> so I packed up my office and I quit. So you decided to become a stripper? That was the answer? No. But I needed cash to pay my bills. So my roommate got me a job down at the club. You should have came to me and your father. You know this. I know. But I didn't want for you and daddy to worry. And I didn't want to come home as a failure. Oh, Harmony, I don't even want to hear that. What does it tell you in Philippians 4.19? It says that my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. 
Harmony, let me talk to your mother for a minute. Hey, it's going to be all right, okay? Thanks, Dad. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Hey, sis. Man, you know I didn't tell him nothing, right? Marcus' cousin pulled it up on his phone. He said he knew you from somewhere or something. It's okay, bro. I know you didn't tell. But I'm gonna get some sleep. Can you take me to the airport in the morning? Tomorrow? Thought you said you were staying for a couple days. I was. But I don't think Mama wants me here. Yeah, I just heard what she said to you. But she'll get over it. But please don't leave yet. And plus, I ain't trying to get your whooping from Grandma if you ain't in church tomorrow. <laughs> right. Grandma. Okay. I'll stay. Cool. Hey, hold up, hold up. Out of all the names you could have picked, how you land on cinnamon? Look at my skin. Duh. Nah, you too light for that. You one shade away from white chocolate. Oh, you would know a whole lot about white chocolate, wouldn't you? Now see, why you gotta be so petty? Why you gotta hate? Hate on what? You always think you tight. Man, hold up. Ain't you allergic to cinnamon? They don't need to know all that. <laughs> you wild. Go to sleep. Good night, bro. Don't you think you've been a little too hard on her? No, I don't. Helen, look at me. She's hurting and can use her mother. Yeah, she's made a mistake, but who hasn't? And if God can forgive us, I'm sure we can forgive her. And after Derek being shot, there's nothing this family can't get through. You're right. I hate it when you're right. <laughs> I know. Now you need to talk to your daughter. You don't want to think you don't love her. Right. All right. Thank you. It will. <laughs> as a family with <laughs> prayer and faith. Remember, the Bible tells us that all things work together, together for, for the, the good, good of those that love, love the Lord. Lord. Amen. 
Mm-hmm. Let me go get your babies up. Okay. You're right. Yeah, because, you know. Let me get ready for church, too. If you hear some thump, it's probably me and Cedric, because you know how he is trying to get him up. Don't say that, baby. Don't you say know, that. He's a no. challenge in the morning. You know, I'm just glad to have my baby alive and uh-huh. walking. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Let's sure say amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen, amen. If you have your Bibles, we're coming from Matthew 18, 21 to 22. And it says that Peter came to Jesus and said, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? And Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times but 70 times, seven times. Amen? Amen. If you're going to follow Jesus, then you must be willing to forgive. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, how many times has Jesus forgave you? Let's Let's see. That was this time. That time. I remember that. I remember. Jesus. I ran out of fingers. We are forgiven people. We are obligated to the king to be a forgiven person. Amen. Amen. Who do you think you are not to forgive? When you don't forgive, you put yourself on a higher plane than Jesus Christ Himself when we refuse to forgive. How much more are you to forgive those who have wounded you? Amen. Let me tell you, saints of God. The Lord told me to tell you there's freedom in forgiving. Amen. And on the other hand, there's bondage in not forgiving. Refusing to forgive will quench the spirit of God, dull your prayer life, and rob you of what God has for you. You can be missing your blessings because you cannot forgive Susan Q., for something that happened 10, 15 years ago? Saints, when you carry a forgiveness, it's like carrying a weight around. Mm-hmm. And every time someone else hurts you, it's like adding stones to a weight. We're going to forgive Susan Q. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. Who got me fired? We put her on in there. This is for Brian, who got me kicked off the basketball team. We'll put him on in there. And this is for Malcolm, who upstaged me. We'll put Malcolm on in there. And this big one here is for my ex-wife. We're going to double her. And this one here is for my family, who has hurt me over and over and over again. Amen. Now, how long are you going to be bogged down with these unnecessary weights? Now you say, Bishop, I can't do it. It hurts too much. not for them. It's for you. It's for you. If you refuse to release that offense, you are the one who suffers. Not them. Not them at all. But if you refuse to forgive others, then your heavenly father will refuse to forgive you. Amen. Amen. For the Bible says, but if you do not forgive others of their sins, your heavenly father will not forgive you of yours. Release it and let it go. Let it go. You know, sometimes the hardest person to forgive is yourself. That's the hardest person to forgive. We have done so many things over the past week. 
care we give ourselves because we have inflicted pain on us. But know this, because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has forgiven us. Yes. Yes. Forgive yourself. Yes. Yes. Glory is right. Forgive yourself. Yes. If you're here today and you're ready to let go of that bag of wings, yeah. if you're saying, Bishop, I'm tired of caring this bitterness, this anger around me. And I want to let it go. To come to the altar yes. so we can pray for you. Yes. Right. Altar workers, please come up. Yes. Or if you're like me, can burns of your past and need to forgive yourself, it's okay too. Come to the altar. You saying, Bishop, I want to forgive, but I don't know how. Or I don't think I can. I said, Come on down, let us pray for you. Yes. Or if you Glory, hallelujah. Or if you like me, carrying the burdens of your past and need to forgive yourself, it's okay to come to the altar. saints sometimes it's the person closest to us that can hurt us the most the Lord is leading me to pray for y'all as a family yes. would that be okay yes. can we join hands let's bow our heads and close our eyes Lord Thank you for this family and bringing them to your house today. Amen. Lord, we know forgiveness is difficult, but yet our strength lies in you, Heavenly Father. Lord, teach us how to forgive and help us to forgive one another. Heal our wounds, Lord, and mend our broken hearts. Lord, you brought this family together. Strengthen and encourage them. Teach them to love on each other and cherish each other. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand. Consider yourself dismissed and love each other. Listen, just let me talk to you for a little bit. Look, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. Mm -hmm. A lot. Mm -hmm. And hurting you and Brandon, what's the biggest? I love you so much. I think about you every day. I can't breathe without you. And I know we got enough left to work it out. Honey, I'm sorry. I want you to come back home. All I ask is that you forgive me. That's all I wanted you to do, Robert, was to apologize and mean it. Baby. No, sweetie. I'm the one that's sorry. I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. But I have to understand that you're a grown woman now. And you have to make your own decisions. Hmm? I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. I just want you to know that quickly. Not because of me. No. No. Okay. Ever since being back home, I realized what's important to me. I just want more for myself. Well, no matter what, I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm glad that's all right. Okay. You get to understand that I was responding from a mother's voice. I just wanted to make it on my own. Oh. Hey, sis. Yeah. Can I talk to Harmony for a minute? Oh, sure. Sure. Harmony. I'm so sorry. I should never have done that. I just been tired of your mom seeming like she's got the perfect life and family. But those are my issues. I'm just sorry if I caused you any pain. Can you forgive your auntie? I'm not perfect, but it's okay. Christmas. You know, and everything actually turned out good. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is. Feels good to have family around. It sure does. <laughs> I know something that'll make us all feel really good. And what, what is got? that? Let's dance. Yeah. <laughs>